$50,000 on a business credit card with no hard pull. In today's video, we're going to talk about the NIH Federal Credit Union business credit card. Uh, but before I get started, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell notification. That way you can notify whenever I post a new video. Also, smash that like button. Smash that like button. Um, so this is the NIH Federal Credit Union website. Uh, I'm just going to give you some data points right away. So the first thing you need to know is uh, it will be a hard pull for you to apply for the for you apply for the account. So you do need to be a member in order to apply for the business credit card. However, anyone can join. And the way you join would be to the American Consumer Council uh, website. All you got to do is just go to this website, you sign up, and anyone, this is pretty much for a lot of credit unions across the nation, uh, they allow you to join their credit unions if you're signed up to this American Consumer Council. Um, so you do need to keep that in mind. So they will be pulling your Equifax. They will be pulling your Equifax. It is a hard pull. So keep that in mind. So when you apply for the their account, they are going to do a hard pull on your Equifax. The good news is that that hard pull is good for 60 days. So you obviously want to be strategic. You want to apply uh, for their account. If you guys are interested in joining the waitlist for my mentorship, there is a link in the description. Go ahead and click that description, watch the video, and join the waitlist. Now you want to open the account, the business checking account, to go straight for funding. You don't want to waste an uh, inquiry. You don't want to apply for the checking account and then wait 70 days and then decide to get funding because then it'll be another hard pull. So you want to be strategic. When you're ready to go for funding, you apply for this uh, business checking account. You open a business checking account. Uh, within that 60-day frame, you can do some deposits to build that relationship. Um, they do a minimum of 5K, the business credit card limit, a minimum of 5K all the way up to 50K. Obviously, um, the, the higher the score, the higher the limit. Right. The bigger, the better the profile, the better the, the, the better the credit profile, the higher the limit. Right. Um, but it can help if you have some deposits, some transactions in that business checking account. That way it increases your odds of, of that 50K limit. Um, again, they are going to pull your Equifax. Another con, though, is that you do need to be in business for at least two years. You do need to be in business for at least two years. Uh, that kind of sucks. Most banks don't require that. So this is not startup friendly. Um, another pro is that the interest rate is relatively low. I guess they um, they updated it. You, it's lower than the, the most credit cards, right? Uh, they have a low interest rate compared to, it was 9.9% uh, recently. I guess they updated that, uh, but it's good for uh, 12 months. And then it goes back to uh, currently prime seven plus seven point seven four percent. The benefits are not great, but basically this is just for uh, get a high limit on business credit card, pay a lower interest rate compared to a like a regular credit card. Um, again, they do you do have to be in business for two years. This is definitely not startup friendly, guys. Let me know in the comments if this is your first time here. Welcome to my channel where we talk about leveraging credit to create cash flow. We talk about business and we talk about finance. Um, so this would be strictly just for funding to get a high limit and use that for cash flow or income. That's my time. My name is Toby Rosario. Peace.